Hey everybody, the purpose of this video is to give you a little bit of technology help with this uh, outlier quiz number one. Um, this one tells you to do uh, 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 confidence intervals like I did up in the example above in E7. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, let's see them. Uh, so let's scroll up to that. Um, and then here's the interval I'm talking about. This is for the type 2 diabetes rate I have you doing for the other two conditions. Um, and it would be nice to be able to edit this. Now, of course, in Word or in the PDF that you're opening, it's a static image, so you can't. So what I want to do is I want to teach you, if you don't already know how to use this tool, it's called, the, uh, it's called the snipping tool. If you go to your start menu and you search for snipping tool, you'll get this, little, this cool little Windows add-in. And if you, if you hit that, a little tiny box pops up. It's called the snipping tool. And it's so simple, it's hard to believe Microsoft invented it. Um, and what you do is you basically drag a rectangle around anything that you want to you wanna select. So right now, this has been copied uh, into the snipping tool. Now, you can save it as a, as a ping image or as a JPEG image, I believe. But what I usually do is I just right-click and copy the image. So now you have captured the image from that document. And now what you can do is you can open Microsoft Paint, which you can either search for. I have all these things on my toolbar, but you can just search for Paint. And then when Paint opens, you can make it bigger if you need to. And you can hit Control V and it drops the image into Paint. Now, granted, it's still a static image, kind of. But what you can now do with it is you can grab a piece of it and move it around. So for example, suppose you wanted the two hours of TV per day to go from say 30 to 40 percent, or yeah, 30 to 40 percent centered on 35. Well, you can slide it over there. And suppose you wanted the general population to go from say about six to about 16. Well, then you can slide it up about there. So these intervals are gonna be roughly the same width uh, actually, they will be the same width in your, um, on your quiz because you're still using a 5% margin of error. So it's just a matter of centering the intervals wherever you need them to be. Fair enough. And you can actually even leave the general population and two hours of TV per day the same. And if you want, you can just change the heading down here. You can select type 2 diabetes rate and just delete that. Or you can even just leave rate percentage on there and hit delete. And then you come up here to the font editor, text editor, and click and say you want to name it something like vanilla ice cream rate. And then you can drop that in right next to rate, and then you're done. You can now see the vanilla ice cream rate in the general population is between, say, 16 and 26, and the vanilla ice cream rate in the two hours of TV per day is between 30 and 40 percent. <laughs> and then when you're done, when you're done uh, finagling your, your interval, you can simply select it again and copy and you can paste it anywhere you want to you can open a word document and paste it in word you could create your entire quiz in uh, in paint for that matter just make sure when you upload it to blackboard it's either a, uh, a pdf document or a, a word document so i can open it and edit it and that's pretty much a quick little introduction to uh using the snip tool and paint to grab images it's really kind of a neat tool you can grab any image you want and manipulate it in this way. Um, it's definitely two freebies that Windows have, but they're very, very nice in that respect. So, hope it helps. Hope you can use it somewhere else.